Hey guys, it's Toxic Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I was buying picture frames today. Um, when I realized that I never actually showed you my Niag- not, not Niagara Falls. Um, well, I mean, yes, Niagara Falls. But I never actually showed you the haul from Frightmare. Um, it was a small haul, and I set everything aside so that I could show you guys what it got. Um, and then I forgot to do it. So... I have that stuff with me because that's part of the reason why I bought frames and then I also have um a mini spooky haul for spooky artwork and it's actually from October from my um 31 days of Halloween but um I got them and then I needed frames and I meant to do a video after I got the frames um so I set them aside and then I never got around to getting the frames until today I have the frames now so we're gonna show you the artwork We'll start with that stuff. Um, so I had to pick up four 8x10 frames. They're just nice, simple, black and silver, something, something basic. Because um, from my favorite local artist, Julia Hansford Art, I got four new prints. So we got a little, a little Edward Scissorhands. He's super cute. And then, and then we got a little... A little Wednesday Adams, um, Beetlejuice and Lydia, obviously because like my favorite guy, and then we also have a Sam. Um, so I'm really happy that these now have frames so that they can have a home. Um, I don't know whether I want to put them on this wall or if I want to put them on the wall across from me, um, above my sewing desk. They'll probably go above the sewing desk just because there's more space there and um <clears throat> my Christmas tree's going right there so they'll be blocked for a while if I put my Christmas tree up so I'm really excited um mostly I don't find Beetlejuice stuff very often and Beetlejuice is my guy I love him so this is what made me buy it and normally when I get her art they're on like they're plaqued wall art um but she didn't have any of these in the plaque version. And then they were like four for some kind of discount. Or they might have been like, I think they were like $15 or two for 20. So I got four because why not? Um, but yeah, so I love these guys. Um, yeah, Julia Hansford Art. She's pretty darn local, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I have a lot of her artwork in my house. Like, I could probably do a whole video just showing off the artwork of hers that I have. Um, and then for Frightmare, I did treat myself to some enamel pins. Um, because I was, I was walking along and then I was like, let me take the plastic off of these so they're not as shiny. Uno momento. walking along, walking along with Roberta, and I was like, oh my god, is that a ghost with a knife? Um, totally was. It was totally a ghost with a knife. It's a ghost holding a tiny pink knife. Um, and then, and then, okay, so you could get it with a pink knife or with a little black handled knife. I went for the pink knife because beside the two ghosts with the knives was a Furby with a knife. So now I have a Furby with a knife. And his knife is also pink, which is why I got the pink ghost with the knife. Um, Furby with a knife. Bringing childhood nightmares to life right here. And they were $10 each. Or you could get three for 25 I believe that was the deal. So, of course, I got a third because they also had a little Morticia Adams. I say little. Um, she's massive compared to the other two. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a little Morticia Adams pin, um, and it says don't torture yourself. That's my job. Um, and I love it. And these are from Sugar Bones. Yeah, Sugar Bones. Um, so I'm absolutely in love with those. And then the other reason I was buying picture frames, I got these ones 
they're black and they're actually kind of sparkly however they only have five so i have to go to another location possibly tomorrow maybe sunday i don't know and see if i can find a six because i need six because when i was at frightmare i once again encountered um the lovely lady who makes art out of wine she literally paints with wine um her name is melissa proudlock um and it is just www.paintedwithwine.com uh and she literally paints with wine now she's got some gorgeous original pieces and then she turns a lot of her stuff into prints and she's got some gorgeous prints um and i was gonna get quite a few of them well, I did get quite a few of them, but I kind of wanted like bigger versions. However, I couldn't decide which big ones I wanted. So I got a lot of little ones. Um, so she actually turns a bunch of her artwork into cards, like occasion cards, as in like it's a card, but it's blank in size. So you can use it for any occasion you want. You can write messages, whatever. Um, and it's Frightmare, so it was a lot of spooky stuff. Um, so we have... The nun. She's pretty cute. And then we got the pair, obviously, Frankenstein's monster and Bride of Frankenstein, because you can't get one and not get the other one. And then I found three that I rarely ever see anything. Um, we have the crow obviously gorgeous. I have loved this movie since I was a small child. This has always been one of my favorites. There will be a, a tattoo on my body forever dedicated to the crow. Um, we got a Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't know that I've ever seen any Rocky Horror merch ever, uh, so I had to get that one. And then of course the ghost with the most. She had a Beetlejuice one, so we got the Beetlejuice one. Now I have six cards and only five frames. Um, sorry to say, uh, until I get the sixth frame, the nun is the one that will be left out. Honestly, I don't know if I want to keep the nun or if I want to give it to Roberta because Roberta's like obsessed with the nun and I think that could be cool. In which case I could get any other different frame and gift it to her. Um, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Either way, that is my spooky art slash Frightmare in the Falls um, haul because I definitely set things aside, planned to do them, and then totally spaced. So you're welcome. The next video will probably be me putting up my Christmas tree. Sorry, not sorry. Bye.